Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and my guest is Lois Conley, the founder of the Griot Museum of Black History right here in St. Louis. And we've been talking about the very rich culture and history of the African American people um, here in our region over the past many hundreds of years. Yeah. And, um, and you've transformed 7,000 square feet yes. in St. Louis um, into a, a wonderful museum um, exploring that history. Exactly. Actually, our building is 21,000 square feet, and we use about a third of that for uh, the museum at this point. And did you start off using uh, that, that third, or was it that smaller? Was, that was the amount of space that was available for use. That's mm -hmm. all we were able to get renovated at okay. the time. And so we've, we've expanded and changed the space, the utilization of the space. But yeah, yeah. it's it's been about that, it's been consistently that size. Yeah, so yeah. over 20 years of great ongoing um, history right here under our own noses Absolutely. right here in St. Louis. It's really interesting. So you've got um, on different exhibits from time to time and we're gonna look at a video right now that will show us what's currently going on at the museum and then we'll talk a little bit more about that afterwards. So let's okay. take a look right now and see what is going on at the Griot Museum. Exhibit that started um, uh, probably a year ago. The, the thought for it started about a year ago. It initially because of a involvement with a project called uh, Divided Cities, and it was sponsored by St. Louis University. I became really interested in that whole notion of divided cities, but also interested in what was happening right here at our doorstep with the NGA project, where a number of uh, residents were being displaced. Kansas City was also having uh, a similar kind of set of circumstances where some neighbors had been, residents had been displaced. And so it was a, a uh, way for us to come together to talk about both stories, St. Louis and Kansas City as well. All right, very nice. Um, what a beautiful space. Yes, thank you. Beautiful space. You. So how has the museum and its exhibits evolved over these last 20 years? Well, interestingly, I was since it's our 20th year anniversary, I was looking at old photographs and just laughing at the uh, way that some of the initial exhibits looked and how plain and, and very unprofessional they looked. Uh, and over the years, that you, you can see the evolution. Um, I've learned. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically a one-woman operation, so I've had to learn a lot of the business about curating and, and doing the research and doing installations. Uh, I've learned a little bit more about that as, as uh, time has gone on, and so the, you can see that even in the exhibits. But we've also made a point of trying to in, have more enriching stories and more artifacts to support those stories, more memorabilia, more, uh, and including more art in our historical presentations. So it's been an, an evolution both in terms of professional um, skills and in terms of stories that we present. So moving on into the future, do you have uh, future dreams and vision? Oh, I would love to have a state-of-the-art facility that had all of the right things you need to operate in an institution like the GRIO. I think our community should have that kind of space. But we will continue to just do what we're doing until that time comes. I'm confident that uh, this, was a, this was a project that was based on faith. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, with our faith, we've done 20 years this way. I'm hoping we don't have to do another 20 years with this kind of struggle, but I believe that the museum's going to grow, and I believe it's going to thrive, and I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so school groups, but the public also can visit the museum. It is open to the public, and we invite everybody, black, white, and all ethnic ethnicities to come by and visit. There's something there to learn. And are you, how, what days are you open? We are generally open Wednesday through Saturdays from mm -hmm. 10 to 5. We will be closing for the winter for about a month starting December 15th, after December 15th. And I'd like to encourage um, residents to come over and see the eminent domain exhibit that will end just as we close. So please come by and see it. There's a lot to learn there. Yeah, eminent domain in St. Louis, there's a, a, a rich history there as well. Absolutely. So I like this idea of closing for the winter. Are you going someplace warm? No, I'm just going to work. We just don't have regular hours. <laughs> That's your time to get caught That's up our and time planned. to get you. Yes, I get it. I get it. Absolutely. All right, very good. Well, thank you so much, Lois, for sharing with us today. Visit the griotmuseum.com. That's G-R-I-O-T. For more information about the museum and their hours, and there's more STL Live after this, stay with us.